Hello, Principal Skinner. How are you today? I'm doing well, Superintendent. <laughs> Thank you for asking. Was that so? Because it smells like something strange is cooking in there. It's just a simple dish that I learned how to make from my grandmother. Here, let me get you a drink while it finishes cooking. All right, but I hope you know what you're doing, Principal Skinner. Yeah, that must be done now. Please excuse me for a moment, Superintendent. So, wait outside, Principal Skinner. I don't want to get caught in any spells. It's as you wish, Superintendent. Damn it, Chalmers. You burn my steak again. I can't believe you did this on purpose. Now I have to figure out what to do next. I better come up with some fun scenarios involving both of us suspecting each other of being a clumsy cook. Uh, this is going to be interesting. Skinner thinks for a moment, then continues. Maybe I'll accuse you of turning my steak into a charcoal briquette, and then you can counter with some ridiculous reason why you didn't do it. And the cycle continues until one of us finally snaps. Skinner pauses again, then speaks once more. Maybe I'll just say that you're a lousy cook and curse your own steak. That would be fun to watch. Skinner smirks to himself as he continues to think of ways to torment Chalmers with his accusations. I need to prepare this new dish. Let me think. How can I obtain this ingredient and climb back in through the window? Skinner looks out the window and sees the shop that sells Valdiciana. He decides to climb out the window to buy some of the substitute for the burnt Nicola. This reminds him of Skinner and Chalmers, both suspecting each other of being a witch somehow. I can't wait to try this new dish. It's gonna be a hit. What's going on, Skinner? Oh, wow. Well. I was just making Nicolat. It's not a big deal. Yeah, right? What about all the smoke? I swear I wasn't trying to burn it. It's just... Steam, I promise. You always say that, Skinner. It's getting old. And please believe me, Chalmers. I would never intentionally harm our food. Yeah, right? Keep telling yourself that. I guess it doesn't matter now anyway. Skinner, what's going on here? This isn't the Nikolai was promised. Oh, this is actually a regional dialect for Valdiciana. You know, some people call it Nikolai in this part of town. That doesn't make any sense. Why would you serve me something different without telling me? I just wanted to surprise you with a little culinary adventure. Don't worry, it's still Nikolai, just in a different form. I don't believe you. You're hiding something. I swear there's nothing to hide. I just wanted to make tonight special. What the hell is going on here? Is this some kind of fun fair? Yeah, yeah. It's just a little surprise I had planned for you, Chalmers. In the kitchen? Come on, Skinner! That's a bit of a stretch even for you. I told you, it's a surprise. Don't try to ruin it for both of us. Are you seriously trying to tell me that we're both not thinking the same thing? That the other one is a witch? It was good, Skinner, but I'm a bit disappointed with what I heard about Nikolai. Oh, that. Don't worry too much about it. It's just a fun fair. Nothing to be afraid of. I see. Well, I suppose I should be going then. Thanks for lunch, Skinner. No problem, Chalmers. Always a pleasure to have you over. Take care of your house, okay? Okay, thanks. 
Hey, you too, Skinner.